Hey guys, my name's Luke, and today I'm gonna be coloring this guy right here. And actually a few more things, so stick around. Alright, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be drawing Spider-Man and the Winter Soldier. I actually recorded quite a few uh, colorings, but I'm only gonna record two today uh, for a video. Now, for Spider-Man, I had already started coloring him in when I decided, you know what, I should probably color this in on camera and show people how I do this. So, these are all pre-sketched, pre-inked, pre-rendered. All they need now is the colors. So, all you're seeing me do is color them in. I've already kind of started with Spider-Man. I started with his red, and I accidentally almost colored him all completely red, and then I realized, wait a second, I remember that he had blue, and uh, I had to stop myself from going over the lines, which is, I think, um, a, a tribulation we all have to go through sometimes. As you can see, uh, I just kind of mixed together two reds, a darker and a lighter. I think one of them was crimson, and one of them is cherry red. And then for the light, light color red, I actually used a pink, or I think it was like a pink, some kind of a pink. And then for the blues, I have, I'm going to use three blues here to shade it all together. A dark blue, and then I have a kind of dark but still very um, vibrant blue. And then I have a turquoise. So I'm trying to find a way to mix them so they look natural and they look like they go together. I'm really satisfied with my Spider-Man. I think it came out very well. And you can kind of see me on the side where the light is reflecting hard, where you would have the hard cast light. I am uh, going in and adding a little bit of color and then kind of using my finger to push the color around. This gives the illusion that he still has a blue color underneath or a pink color underneath. Now, you might have noticed all these lines right behind Spider-Man. I decided to draw a whole series of sketches where people were up against a white wall. So how am I going to make it look like a white wall? I think the best way to do that would be to add a shadow. So I decided to add these little horizontal lines um, to kind of, kind of give a sense that Spider-Man is standing in front of this white wall. And uh, and then I just go in with a, I have a marker that's kind of dying on me, that gray marker you see there. And all I'm doing is using the light, the fine tip side, even though it doesn't have a lot of ink left, that's kind of beneficial because it means that I can throw down very light amounts of ink. Now onto the Winter Soldier. I had a lot of fun drawing this guy. I don't usually draw him. Um, his arm was very difficult. I tried to make it look realistic and not just mechanical and over the top. Um, I don't remember exactly what he looks like from the movie, and I'm not a I'm not a fan of Captain America comic books, um, so I don't really know. So I just went off of kind of the movie design and just kind of did my own thing with it. So you can kind of see me going in with, uh, I think I use four browns for the hair. I have a dark brown, a vibrant brown, and then two light browns that I like to use. And this character, the color scheme is okay, but I find that it just, everything kind of ran together, and there's nothing that really stands out. So even though the coloring was good and the overall technique I used was pretty good, it's not the best example of how to make colors pop and how to make them play and work for you. So I'm still trying, like I said before and I'll say it again, I'm not good at coloring so I do these videos mostly to help myself as a reference um, so that I could look back on them later and say oh this is where I was at. So I kinda went in and did like a very dark light on on these little patches here. I, I imagine that they were leather or some kind of brown material usually belts of leather and after that I started thinking oh man what am I gonna do with his shirt and with his pants I think he wears jeans so I'm not even sure how I would do this and I've never actually colored colored a metal arm so that's gonna be a first for me so I go in and the next thing I'm gonna work on is the star now the video jumps ahead a little bit here because for some reason my camera has a 10 minute loop video thing setting. Oh man, I can't words today. But after 10 minutes it stops recording and I have to reset it and I have no idea how to get rid of that. So, and I asked my wife because it was her camera 
and she doesn't know either. So that's always fun. So I'm going in and I decided I'm going to make his shirt blue and his pants gray or black. Now the way I'm going to do this and add a lot of hue to the shirt was to use the dark blue and then kind of throw down a base of a dark gray underneath it to give more of light and dark intonations. And as for the arm, I use the dark gray and kind of trace around some of the where the main muscles would be. This way it gives a sense that even though it's a metal arm, it's still sculpted to look muscular and look like a realistic arm. Um, I hope that's conveyed in the video. I feel like I did okay with it, but it could have been better. I could have taken more time with it. In any case, uh, we're jumping in here and kind of just going in and adding all the fine details. This is my light gray marker, the one that's kind of dying on me. And I'm using it to throw down a lighter layer and also fill out his pants. I decided to make his pants a grayish black. So between these two colors, I think that did the trick for me. And then I just moved on to the shirt. The shirt was an interesting thing to color because... The dark blue that I use is a lot darker than you would expect, and throwing it on top of a dark gray brings the whole drawing down into this kind of muddiness. And one thing that I've learned with coloring is that once the colors start to look muddy, it's over. There's no way to fix it. You just have to kind of go with it, make the best of what you have, and move on. So if you ever start to draw or paint or color, once the colors start all looking muddy, and it's hard for me to describe what muddiness is, but it's just, you can't tell the clear colors apart. It's just kind of running together. It's a nightmare. Just move forward. Don't try to fix it. Don't try to do anything. Just move past it. Now I'm going in and adding these gray shadows in the background again. Uh, again, I decided to make them standing in front of a white wall and uh, just to see how, how it would happen. I don't think the shadow makes sense. I think it should have been on the other side because the light is being cast from the right side of the page so the shadow should have been on the left side I didn't really think that through oh well who cares you learn by doing anyway we're nearing the end of this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it let's take a look at the final drawings here here's spider-man uh, he looks really good I really really am happy with the way he turned out kinda captures the the essence of spider-man and the Winter Soldier was money, but it's still good. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you want, you can check out the last video I posted in the link below. There's also Facebook, Instagram, and Etsy links provided here for you to check out and hopefully see some stuff you like. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.